Fry up the chicken, but please hold the sewage. Well, we have a not so scrumptious dirty dining tonight, including a chicken place, a repeat offender and a seafood market that didn't make the grade. And here's 13 Chief Investigator Darcy Spears. There's no easy way to say this. Something stinks at Church's Chicken on Rainbow and Robindale. At least it did on June 9th when the restaurant was shut down for a sewage backup. Then the feathers started flying. Hi there. The news, is here. the news is here. The news is here. Inspectors were there on the 9th to follow up on a complaint filed that morning. A customer reported the restaurant was filthy inside. There was trash and debris on the floors, and the restroom had not been cleaned in a while. The complaint was validated, and churches was subsequently shut down when the inspector discovered foul-smelling wastewater backing up out of the floor sink under the ice machine, accumulating on the kitchen floor, and seeping through during active food preparation. Employees were ordered to cease and desist all food prep as churches was operating in the midst of an imminent health hazard. Can you tell me what happened and what you guys well, did? We just had a back drain from, uh, like from the grease and the fly from outside. We had that taken care of and we got right back open the next day. Churches did reopen June 10th with a three demerit A grade. But then they also found a few other violations like uncovered pans and containers of food on shelves, a repeat violation for black mold in the ice machine, excessive buildup of food, grease and trash on floors, equipment and surfaces, and a broken refrigerator door that fell on the floor when the inspector opened it to check the contents. Churches got 20 demerits, which is one short of a C grade. We just did what we had to do, which is take care of that floor. That was the main thing. We wouldn't have been closed down if it wasn't for that floor drain, but we took care of it. Yes, that's correct. That was your imminent health yeah. hazard. Or did those other violations, like, do you put up with that as a general manager? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. At that time, we were trying to get everything right that day, and that floor drain messed up, and I was on my way in, and we took care of it. According to the health report, a plumber did arrive at the end of the inspection. How important is it for customers gotta, to see that we, A grade? We've got to have that A all the time. We want to make everybody know it's safe here and we're taking care of our customers. This church's location has a couple of C grades in its past, but it's the first time the restaurant has been shut down. I've been in the business over 30 years and I, I was hurt. I was really hurt to my heart that, you know, we messed up like that, but we took care of it. Repeat offender Kung Pao Wok is making its second appearance on Dirty Dining in just two weeks. The restaurant at the Outlet Mall on Grand Central Parkway in Bonneville failed reinspection on June 9th after being shut down for a multi generational cockroach infestation. Kung Pao Wok requested the reinspection, but when inspectors arrived, they found the kitchen was still dirty and greasy and the roach infestation was still in full swing, meaning it was still an imminent health hazard. Inspectors counted 30 multi-generational roaches, most of them recently hatched, as well as live and dead adult roaches, roach feces, and egg casings. There were cockroaches under and inside ovens and wok fixtures, inside the deep fryer cabinet, under refrigerators, and in sinks. Heavy grease buildup described as gelatinous and hardened over time caked the cook line area. Kung Pao Wok was required to provide proof from a professional cleaning service that they were doing what the health district required in order to reopen, which they did on June 14th with a three demerit A. The manager had no comment. We have a tie for the highest demerits between Island Pacific Seafood Market on Nellis and Stewart and repeat offender Mara's Crazy Fruits on Owens and Pecos. Both got 36 demerit C grades on inspections done June 10th and 11th. At Island Pacific Seafood Market, six pans of pancit had to be thrown out due to unsafe temperatures, as did a number of other foods being held in the temperature danger zone. There were two containers of expired tofu, one dating back to May. Knives with visible food debris were stored as clean on the magnetic rack, and raw squid and approximately 200 fish were thawing in standing water at room temperature. Inspectors wrote, due to consecutive sea downgrades, intervention training is required. 
This is the second Island Pacific Seafood location to be on Dirty Dining. The location on Silverado Ranch in Bermuda was on in November. A corporate spokesperson sent a statement which says in part, we recently opened a new location at the corner of Nellison Stewart and the hot deli department in that new location failed to meet our highest standard. We took immediate steps to retrain newly hired employees to make sure that the strictest standard of food handling is implemented immediately. Repeat offender Mara's Crazy Fruits was written up for handwashing violations, including an employee handling ready-to-eat cucumber with bare hands. Tilapia for ceviche had no proof of parasite destruction, so it had to be thrown out. There were two packages of expired hot dogs dating back to late May and a large container of Fresca in the sink next to dirty dishes. Cookie cutters stored as clean and other equipment in the freezer floor were all dirty. And inspectors say the place was in general disarray, not maintained in an orderly or organized fashion with excessive trash all around. The owner did not respond to our call or text for comment. Mara's was reinspected June 16th and got a six demerit A grade. We've got one more closure, the center plate home plate stand at Cashman Field due to repeat violations for inadequate refrigeration. We've got details on that and a statement from the ownership group on our website at KTNV.com. Darcy Spears, 13 Investigates.